everybody. Uh, today I'm uh, going to talk about uh, Yuka, which is a data platform that uh, integrates uh, uh, information from, uh, coming from people, systems, and things, and um, enables the development of a new application based on the, this uh, shared data. Uh, first of all, a few information about CSI Piemonte, which is uh, a public administration consortium uh, founded uh, many years ago by Piedmont region, uh, together with the uh, University and Polytechnic of uh, Turin. Piedmont is uh, an Italian region in the northwest of uh, Italy, and uh, CSI Piemont is uh, a consortium of uh, nowadays of more than 100 public stakeholders, and is in charge of uh, implements and uh, managing uh, ser IT services for uh, regional public uh, administration. So this uh, particular uh, configuration of this consortium allows us to create economy of scales in order to um, share data and share technologies among different uh, public administration um, department. And uh, CSI Piedmont operates in uh, many topics, uh, uh, so we um, manage uh, information system about uh, demography or health or education and so on. And uh, our tasks uh, are a wide range uh, of uh, activities because uh, we are in uh, charge of managing security and uh, IT services. Uh, we also provide uh, professional services to public administration and um, we cooperate in uh, international activity. One of, the main, uh, of our main tasks uh, is uh, data center management. Uh, up to now we have a very large data center with uh, <laughs> a huge uh, databases to manage. Um, there are two data centers located in uh, different uh, geographic sites in order to guarantee business continuity. And with this, um, a scenario of a complex information system, it is important to implement uh, um, effective uh, integration technology in order to allow the sharing of data among uh, public administration and between uh, public administration and uh, citizen. Yuka is uh, uh, a project uh, that, is, that was uh, promoted by, uh, in, uh, first of all, by Piedmont Regent that launched uh, a couple of years ago a call for tender in order to uh, promote the development of a digital ecosystem in which private and public stakeholders collaborate in order to share data and to um, develop a new uh, end-user application based on uh, these uh, shared data. So uh, the, the platform manages data coming from uh, many different sources. Of course, uh, public administration manages lot, lots of data coming from uh, citizen and from uh, um, administrative uh, processes. And um, some of these data are public and so can be shared among uh, citizens. Um, many projects were developed uh, on, uh, on the platform, and CSI Piemont was in charge of uh, developing the technical solution and to promote uh, the, um, the implementation of the new application. So at a very, very high level, uh, Yuka platform is uh, a platform that uh, accepts uh, many different kind of uh, input data in different format. So we can have a simple uh, application to application integration that exchanges, and so we have a, a public administration system that can share data through the Yuka Smart Data Platform. Uh, the platform can manage bi binary files also, and um, there is also a important, very important uh, real-time uh, uh, integration scenario based on uh, events coming from a sensor. And so sensors can be directly connected to the platform, but uh, usually you can implement a fire and forget uh, pattern. And so if we need uh, to um, manage events, uh, even if um, there are a network discontinuity, we can use uh, a specific component uh, named uh, Yucca Lite, which is, we can, can be um, 
locally installed in order to um, implement a guaranteed delivery pattern in order uh, not to lose uh, information about a sensor. Um, besides that, uh, when uh, we need um, protocol transformation, for example, we can use a gateway because uh, usually events uh, are accepted in the UK platform using MQTT protocol. And, um, and then uh, we are uh, beginning to integrate a social feed. Up to now, there is uh, Twitter available in order to increase uh, the, the knowledge base and the data set uh, that are managed in the platform. The platform accepts uh, data, validates them, and then elaborates them. And after that, uh, uh, can uh, uh, um, allow a sharing um, be between uh, the provider and the consumer of data. So we can have a real-time scenario in which uh, events are sent to uh, sensor, to consumer sensor, or to vertical application, dashboard, and so on. Or uh, there is a, a more traditional scenario in which uh, we have uh, uh, API uh, subscription in which uh, end user uh, application can use uh, data through uh, or data services uh, interface uh, and uh, through which uh, kind of uh, API data can be filtered and can be managed by end user application. Uh, the platform is open source uh, and so you can find uh, uh, source code uh, in, uh, in GitHub and is based on open source technologies. This is a, a very strong uh, guideline from public administration. And uh, the, the first development, uh, all, all the integration and new, uh, new functionalities are implemented using uh, open source platform. We have uh, a set of uh, platform, a set of uh, technologies that uh, are uh, the, the core uh, elements of the platform. Then uh, there are uh, um, other components such, such as uh, uh, Chef or Subversion that we use to manage all the uh, software development, development life cycle. And so we have, of course, uh, uh, versioning and uh, automation in order to build uh, the environment and instances, avoiding uh, manual uh, activities. At a very simple uh, <laughs> description of, uh, of the architecture. We have uh, different components that are in charge of managing all the uh, different protocols that can be um, accepted by the platform. So we have an uh, active MQ uh, for managing input queue and output queue. And so we are, the platform manages MQTT uh, protocol. Then uh, uh, we have a component uh, in charge of uh, validate the data, control, control the data, and this is based on uh, Enterprise Service Bus, WSO2 Enterprise Service Bus. Then the complete, uh, complex event processor manages stream and elaborates uh, events, and this is a, a, a very core element in uh, Yucca platform for what concerns, uh, for, uh, for what uh, is about uh, stream. Then uh, data, real-time data, can be stored in a data hub that is central to the platform on a MongoDB database. And then we have a further storage level on Hadoop for historical data. Um, if we have an application-to-application -application scenario, so data coming from application through HTTP or HTTPS uh, protocol, uh, of course, ActiveMQ is not used and data are uh, um, coming directly to the enterprise service bus. The idea is to manage uh, the different uh, sources and different uh, kind of data uh, using um, the same uh, kind of uh, workflow. And so uh, data set uh, and events and so on are all elaborated and stored in the MongoDB database. End user can uh, access the platform through a user portal. The platform is available as a platform as a service, so um, developer, developers ha don't have to install uh, anything. And uh, there are different uh, roles for users. And so we have uh, publishers and subscribers or developers that can use uh, or implement uh, um, 
application or uh, define CD queries to assess uh, data. And so we have a user portal and uh, some uh, end user functionality, business logic implemented in uh, JBoss. Um, the JBoss also assess uh, API manager functionality through uh, specific administration API. And then we have uh, an identity server, which is the identity hub that centralize all the management for uh, users and uh, roles and uh, interacts with the different uh, identity providers because uh, we have to integrate uh, a, an internal identity providers in CSI Piedmont for employees, public administration employees. And then we have also an identity provider for uh, uh, region uh, Piedmont citizen. And so we can integrate it using uh, SML2 protocols uh, in, uh, in the platform. From the API, ma API manager, uh, the platform builds uh, a um, API or data API, and if data are uh, private, uh, these API are protected using OAuth2 uh, tokens uh, in the same way as the MQTT. So when uh, um, real-time uh, consumer subscribe to a uh, stream for a connection, uh, we have uh, an, uh, we develop an API that verify that uh, the OAuth token is uh, is valid for that uh, session. Here is a, a more detailed description about uh, uh, the responsibility of each uh, component. So, uh, complete even, even processor is the core element, uh, and it manages real-time streaming, uh, executes CD queries, and. Uh, uh, deployment uh, is, uh, an, um, is configured as a high performance, full high availability. So we have uh, two complex, uh, complex event processor uh, which are uh, receiving all the events, the input, uh, the incoming events. And then uh, one complex event processor is uh, in charge of answering the requests. And then the other one is available to guarantee high performance and uh, high availability. The enterprise service bus manages different uh, input uh, protocol. And then, uh, mm, and then it implements messages and data validation. Then we have also some automated tasks that are executed to perform some uh, specific uh, functionalities. The application server is uh, used just to develop, uh, to implement and run a simple uh, custom services. The API manager implements a typical use case scenario for uh, API management, and so manages uh, uh, publication and subscription of uh, API and um, using uh, OAuth tokens when uh, necessary, when uh, private, uh, private data are to be managed. The identity server is the real identity hub, and so we integrate different external uh, identity providers. Uh, we use the same users and role for end user uh, functionality and uh, to uh, managing subscription of uh, API. And then we have a data service server because there is a small repository for configuration data, data based on uh, PostgreSQL, such as uh, tags. So API can be tagged by, um, by uh, um, providers, by publishers. And so these uh, configuration data are, um, are stored in a DB and are managed using uh, sim simple data services. Then all this solution was put together using some custom uh, development components. One is the user portal. We implement a single portal just to have a, a single point, a single access point for end user and to integrate all the end user functionality and to have uh, the same look and feel for, uh, for uh, citizens and for users, for all the, the stakeholders. Of course, it is uh, in Italian because we have uh, localization uh, for uh, this uh, requirement. And so it, it, it was easier to develop uh, a, a custom component for uh, front-end. 
in the user portal, we have uh, a, um, a front end to define self service CD queries and then are deployed and uh, run on the compl complex event processor so that users can, uh, developer can uh, manage their stream as uh, they like. Then uh, we had to implement uh, a specific component to manage uh, how to token. Uh, used in MQTT um, access and the stomp over uh, WebSocket because API Manager, did, uh, we use API Manager in 170 version and this, um, this version uh, don't, uh, doesn't manage MQTT protocol, so we added a component. And then uh, a separate adapter for uh, MongoDB was developed in order to integrate this kind of uh, database. So, uh, UK platform manages different uh, objects, and so the first step is to define a smart object that is the source uh, for a stream. Then we can mm, define different stream for the same uh, smart object. And so we can define a stream number two, for example, a public stream. Uh, if the stream are to be used in a um, historical way, so we, have to, we want to gather historical data, then a data set is also created. Uh, for each stream and for each data set, an API is created. So we have a real-time API and an um, online API to assess historical data. Um, we can then uh, um, add more stream bound to the same smart object, or then uh, the stream number five, we can uh, elaborate a previously defined stream in order to cre create a new stream and ev eventually to store it in another data set. So uh, the, the first step is to publish and subscribe. We can. Uh, uh, define a, mm, a smart object, uh, and then publish stream, uh, and so on. And this is a very typical uh, API management scenario. So we publish object, uh, use uh, the um, JBoss functionality. First of all, uh, we have to verify identity, user identity, and so we assess the identity server and the identity provider uh, in charge of uh, managing the identity. and. The second phase, of course, is subscribing, and so after an API is published, then we can, we can subscribe this API using the same kind of uh, workflow. The, the platform is, uh, is uh, a self-service platform, so there are a set of wizards developed to manage all the phases for the interaction and for the, the task uh, to, to manage. This is uh, the more typical scenario for real-time interaction between a sensor and, for example, uh, in this case, uh, a dynamical dashboard to, uh, to, um, to show data to an end user. And so we have uh, an input data, so a sensor, that uh, uh, sends data to the active MQ in, the, in queue. Then the, the data are uh, validated by the enterprise service bus and are uh, elaborated by the complex, the complex event processor. If uh, uh, these data have to be stored and uh, we want to manage uh, and to keep uh, historical data, then uh, the events are sent to the MongoDB uh, uh, repository, Data Hub. And then uh, the, the same event uh, is uh, sent to an out queue to be used by uh, real-time uh, su subscribers. And so we have uh, uh, number six phase, which is the connection to the stream. And then uh, from this moment on, after the subscription, data are sent, are uh, pushed to the end user uh, application and to modify the, the dashboard. Of course, uh, this is uh, a a simple and very, a very quick uh, scenario, but sometimes uh, it is useful to assess also and to elaborate uh, also the historical data. And uh, this happens uh, usually in two ways. Uh, maybe we want to execute uh, simple query on uh, a few, few data, a small data set, 
or sometimes we need to elaborate a very large uh, data set with uh, complex uh, queries. And uh, this, usually this scenario can't be um, implemented using a single technology. So in Yucca, there is uh, uh, a, um, an architecture that uh, can uh, process a stream and so manage a real-time integration scenario. And then a Lambda architecture that is typical for big data management that can that allowed to uh, store data in a speed layer storage based on uh, MongoDB um, hub for online query services. And then the data are synchronized to a layer uh, that is managed by Hadoop technology for uh, analytics. This last uh, component is the one that uh, will uh, evolve in the future because up to now only uh, offline analytics uh, is available, so we can assess data and elaborate them. But uh, we are planning to develop a kind of uh, real-time analytics, and so to add uh, analytics uh, functionality in order to have a self-service analytic av available on the platform and integrated in the pa platform for uh, end-user um, functionalities. This is a very typical uh, traditional scenario in which producer and consumer are both uh, uh, information systems. So this is a, a very typical uh, API, uh, API consuming uh, functionality. Um, the platform is uh, focused on the standard, so we choose to um, to provide all data services in order to have a standard format for output. And uh, besides that, this, um, this format can be filtered using query when calling the API. And so it is quite flexible and uh, adaptable for, uh, for end user. This is uh, one of the last uh, functionality that was uh, introduced in uh, Inuka, which is the social feed integration. So uh, in the um, component uh, of uh, the enterprise service bus, we have uh, a task, an automatic task, that run and then uh, at uh, definite times calls an, uh, a custom access services implemented in the application server that calls uh, the Twitter API. And then uh, uh, the, the results are uh, feed into the, the platform and they are stored just, uh, stored just as uh, all the other events. So uh, an, an end user can define a stream, a Twitter, uh, a stream of uh, Twitter kind. And so when the events are managing in the, in the same way, it can be accessed in the, in the common way. Data can be uh, managed by the platform can be of different type. So the, um, the simple case is a public data, so that data open to all. A um, public administration uh, department decide to uh, share some data to everybody. And so data are open uh, to, to all, API are free to use. But the platform is, uh, is multi-tenant because we can manage uh, uh, private data, and so uh, publisher and subscriber, subscriber of the, uh, this API are into a single organization. Or um, a tenant can decide to share its data with another tenant, and so two organizations have a peer-to-peer -peer, uh, agreement to use data. And so in this case, we need to, to control to control the access to this data. And so we, uh, in, in the platform, there are uh, different level of uh, security implemented. So uh, the, the input of the data is always bound to a tenant authentication. So a single uh, user, uh, work operates on behalf of, of a single tenant. So the owner of the data is uh, the tenant, is the organization. Then, of course, we have the, the tracing of the activity, but uh, uh, in the platform and to, uh, uh, and to subscriber, uh, data are uh, tagged with uh, the tenant, with the organization. Subscribers can uh, freely use uh, or data API for, uh, to assess a public data set, and so there is no authentication. Mm, to 
assess uh, public uh, real-time streams or near real-time stream, we have a guest user just to uh, manage a, a minimum level of, uh, of uh, security in order to avoid a performance problem on, on the platform. And then when data are, um, are private or are shared between tenants, uh, we use uh, OL2 um, tokens. The platform is, uh, is open and uh, is, can be used as a platform as a service, so we have many, many projects implemented on the platform. Up to now we have 45 organizations and uh, measures are of course increasing every day and um, up to now events and measures are, are quite a large number. And, uh, about, are about uh, many different kinds of, uh, of topics. So we have em energy, environment, uh, and so on, that are coming from uh, sensor. And so uh, end user new application can uh, correlate this data and uh, show this data in a new and creative way uh, according to some correlation or some uh, tagging to um, to build a, a particular uh, semantic view on, uh, on the data. As I told before, uh, UK platform is, uh, is available as a platform as a service. So on a Smart Data Net website, you have, uh, it is the, the access point. So there is a description of the platform. There, is, uh, there are some videos and so on. Then uh, there is the user portal, which is the custom component to, to grant access to uh, publisher and subscriber and developer. There is also a sandbox tenant that can be used to try the um, platform functionality without registration. So if you just want to look uh, how it is, you can go to and use this, um, this tenant, this sandbox tenant. Then there is a developer center that explains how to build uh, new API, new CD query, new uh, application, and uh, there are guidelines and there are protocols explained and so on. And then uh, all, all the, um, all the uh, code, the source code is available on GitHub, so you can find the platform, you can find uh, the, the lightweight, uh, lightweight gateway, and so if you want to install and to to see how it is uh, built, uh, the, the code, you can go to this, um, to this branch of uh, GitHub and CSI Piemont. And uh, also, if you want to see how many projects were uh, implemented on the, on the platform, the Smart Data Net website describes uh, this, uh, this project that are built by public administration, but also by public uh, small enterprises in, uh, in Piemont. Um, it is all for my...